Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we have the financial analysis on a building uh, located outside of Ottawa. It's in the South End, and if you enjoy getting these financial breakdowns, click on the subscription button, the notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you every 30 days. So again, this building is in a, uh, outside the Greenbelt, South End of Ottawa, and it's an unconventional building, meaning that it wasn't built as a uh, five-unit building. Uh, it's an old uh, house that's been converted. It's got two one-bedrooms and uh, three, uh, two bedrooms, no, sorry, the other, um, the other way around. And uh, the list price on that was $995,000. Uh, it sold for $985,000. The scheduled rental income on it was almost $77,000. Deducting for uh, vacancy and bad debt, our ERI on that building is uh, $74,600. The operating expenses as stated, as stated in the MLS information were $22,350. And uh, when you factor in uh, maintenance and management costs in, in, into this. Our total operating expenses are almost $30,000. Knowing that, we know that our NOI is $44,791. So let's take a look at what all this means and what it takes to be profitable on this country property, or this small town property. So we have a cap rate, which is nice to see, actually, uh, because it's indicating that you can maybe make some money on the property, and it's 4.55%. Uh, Operating expense ratio, 40%. You know, to me, that reflects uh, a couple of things. One is that it's usually an older building, and two is that it's usually, but not always, an unconventional building. And this building fits both of those scenarios. And we're looking at a little higher operating expense ratios. So it, in terms of the gross and the net, it sold for 13 times its gross, 22 times the net. And here's a number that I pay attention to. How much of a down payment does a purchaser need to have in order to have a property have a positive cash flow. So the answer to that in this question is that this buyer needed a 38% down payment, which in this case here was about $374,000. And that'll put a little bit of money in his pocket at the end of the year. Not a great deal of money. That's just indicative of what it takes to break even or have a small positive cash flow. So we do our calculations this month based on mortgage rate of 5.5% amortized over 20, uh, uh, 25 years. And these are the numbers uh, for that. Now, how that translates out is that the annual debt service, which means how much of a mortgage payment you have on, on a total year basis uh, is uh, $44,736 and that gives this purchaser a cash flow of $55 and an ROI of 0 0.01. But anyhow, again, the important thing here is that inside Ottawa we're seeing some really, really crazy numbers of uh, 50, 60, 65% uh, in order to break even. Here it's 38%. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We've got a great agent who operates in these small towns that can help you out. Thank you.